Hey everyone! We're going to be focusing on our second NHD Quick Tip that relates to annotated bibliographies, but this time we're going to focus on the citation aspect. So when you're citing sources, you can use two different formats. You can either use Chicago or MLA. The first thing you want to do is check with your teacher and see if they have a preference for which one you would use on your NHD project. You have these two options because in the history world historians use Chicago style format. That's the one you see with the footnotes. But we know that many schools require MLA, but you should check with your teacher to find out if you must use MLA or Chicago and then go to your library, whether it's your school library or your public library, and get your hands on a copy of the Chicago or MLA style guides to help you start your citations. If you don't have access to an MLA style guide, that's okay. We're going to give you some great places to find sample bibliographies and citations, so they'll help you craft those citations that you can use in your annotated bibliography for NHD. Here are some quick tips on setting up those citations or annotated bibliographies. The first thing that you're going to want to think about is you're going to want to head over to nhd.org backslash annotated dash bibliography. And on this page, we have everything from describing an annotated bibliography, how to set up formatting, discussing options such as writing annotations, quoting, paraphrasing, and examples of bibliographies and footnotes. So if we click on that example, bibliography and footnotes, so this is going to take you to our nhd.org backslash sample dash bibliography page. And here you will be able to see different options from looking at bibliographic examples examples and footnote examples. And you can search these by type, whether it's journals, manuscript collections, books, interviews, websites, or other types of sources. And it'll give you examples of how to set up your bibliography. Keep in mind, these are done in Chicago format, which we highly recommend that you use, not in MLA. So if you're working in MLA, you're going to have to use a different source to track down those examples. Our next annotated bibliography tip is that if you're struggling, you can use a bibliographic generator like Noodle Tools, and you can find the Noodle Tools link on nhd.org backslash student dash resources. You can use a bibliography generator like this or the like. If you know one that you're more comfortable using, that's fine. Though one quick tip that I highly recommend is starting out by writing your annotated bibliographies by hand. You'll get to know the citation order and it'll help you better understand how to set up citations until it's second nature. So don't rely too heavily on those generators. You really want to learn how to do this on your own. So track down those examples and practice. So for our next tip, we're going to head over to one of our affiliates. We are going to be heading over to uh, National History Day in Minnesota's page and they can be reached at M nhs.org backslash history day. And then on the sidebar, you want to click the research section. And in that first section, they have a hyperlink to their student research guide. So we're going to go ahead and click on that student research guide. So this is a student research workbook that History Day in Minnesota has created for students to use. And this is free for all students to use, not just Minnesota and HD kids. So feel free to use it. And in there, they have these really great organization systems that you can use. And I highly recommend you use one, whether it's an index card system, or if it's the Cornell note system, or even if you're tracking your sources via digital notebooks. What I really like about these types of systems is that they help you to keep all of the relevant information that you need to craft your bibliography later. But you want to keep a system in place so that you are writing down all of the relevant information that you need and you're not going to forget it later when you go to write that annotated bibliography. So keep track of the sources you're using, where it's coming from, if it's a primary source, what type of source it is, all of the things that you will need to know in order to complete your annotated bibliography. Another tip I have for you is to make sure that you're keeping track of your primary and secondary sources. NHD requires that you split your bibliography into primary and secondary sources. So what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you're marking what is a primary source 
and what is a secondary source. Keeping track of that will help you towards the end know which sources go where in the setup of your annotated bibliography, which goes a long way to help streamline that formatting. If you still have more questions, that's okay. Head back over to nhd.org backslash annotated dash bibliography. This is where we keep all of our information related to annotated bibliographies and see if you can tap down on your question there. If you can't, ask your teacher and check in with your local coordinator. And if they can't answer it, don't be afraid to reach out to info at nhd.org.